morning and thanks for being with us. I'm Heather Abraham. And I'm David Highfield. And you know, this is the time of year that everyone starts thinking about Halloween. So mm -hmm. you may have noticed that we have some pumpkins in front of us here on the table. We've this worked hard on these. This is a really special and really fun challenge. So we decided, based on something that popped up on the incline.com. Yeah, which to, was a very cool idea. Yeah. Very cool idea to take on this challenge to see who could carve the best pumpkin. So the incline posted some, some stencils, very Pittsburgh-esque jack-o'-lanterns yes. you fact, could carve. Yes, in fact, we want to show these stencils right yeah. now? Oh, you okay, so here's here. one. Okay. This one's right, pretty so easy, this one, and you, yeah. know, you know what okay. that is, right? Everybody can recognize this one. The Steelers logo, of course. Wouldn't this look great on a jack-o'-lantern? I think so. This, it is so totally Pittsburgh. This is one of their easy designs. We also have a dinosaur. Yes, the dinosaur, okay. of course. Uh -huh. And then uh, over here we have PPG Place. Okay, which, everybody knows that. You know, I How think about that this would one? be cool. This one's really hard to get. Do you know which one? Do you know what this is? No, we just, we, no what is this? This is Juju Smith Schuster's dog. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That's I love that more they of an intermediate. That. Okay, yeah. and this this guy. I was like, is that Albert Einstein? No, oh, come on, Heather. You know who that is. I knew who that was. Andy, Andy Warhol. Warhol, of course. Now okay. I think that one would be really hard, don't you? 50th anniversary of this guy. You know who it is? Is it, oh, Mr. Rogers. There you go. Come oh, but on, I, you David. know what? I needed to see the sweater. I couldn't tell in the silhouette you couldn't tell, that it yeah. was a sweater. If Maybe it was red, I would have been able to recognize it right away. Okay, so, so I took on one of the challenges because I thought it was such a cool idea. Mm -hmm. Yes. So should I show you the stencil first or what I did? Okay. No, I don't think you should show. I, I think we should show the video of you at work <laughs> first because we took some video. We're very, we're a little competitive, Heather uh -huh, and I. Uh -huh. So we both have videos here, and this is Heather at work with her creation. You can see she has a team of experts, no, no, jack o' lantern no. experts, there with her. Just pointing this out. Uh huh. Do you um, see what's? See, no one sees what's happening in the background, but all I can see is Sunny climbing. You saw it, Ron saw it. <laughs> Sunny climbing on the table. She knocked over a glass of water. Frankie at one point is throwing her up in the air in the background by the TV. If you watch, you'll see. Yeah. We, uh, boom, boom, there, boom. There, we there go. you go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so that's you had a, lot of, a lot of stuff happening there. So Let's, I got called out on social media for getting help, but this is why I needed help carving my pumpkin because there was too much going on. Too much. You had a lot going on. And All right. Look at David yeah. relaxing with his gonna, button down shirt on. Which, well, I put oh, on. Oh, I guess a, I'll just casually put on carve my this. Plaid, pu my plaid uh, just, shirt. Look I how thought. cute I am. I'm just going to carve this pumpkin all by myself in the quiet. <laughs> I bet you had music on, too. I did not have music on, no. That, that, that's a good idea now mm -hmm. that you, you mentioned yeah, it. But it's a lot of work. It, I, you know, I haven't carved a pumpkin since I was a kid. That's how we both said the same thing. Yeah. Frankie and I, we had not carved a pumpkin since we were probably teenagers or young adults. I mean, it had right. been so long. Right. I didn't even really remember how to do it. Okay, so. Yeah, this is the moment. This is the moment. Who's going to show theirs first? Well, mine's up front. Let's just do this one first because it's closest to this camera. Okay, you want okay. me to turn this yeah, around? Yeah, you turn it around. Wait, let me look at it. Oh. Yeah. You did pretty well there. Well, Heather. I had some help. Look at this. Okay, can you tell what it is? Yeah, it's a Heinz ketchup bottle. It's a devil Heinz right, ketchup bottle. Right, with the bottle. little horns, horns and, the and the tail. tail. Yeah, this oh, was, I like that idea. So the stencil was this, and and the tricky part, really, I, and this is what I forgot, is when you start cutting into this, the paper right. like vanishes. It like just gets wet and gooky right. and just disappears. So you're on your own at that point. You're living on the edge. But I, really I think was. you did really well with that. Oh, thanks. Uh, Frankie had a lot yeah. of help. This is oh, the finished product with, with a light in it. Up. I yeah. took this picture at night so you could kind of see. Yeah, that looks a little better. That was as much help as Lila was. All right, so I kind of went rogue. <laughs> Oh, okay. I didn't follow one of the stencils. All I right. actually wasn't sure that's what we we're supposed to do. So, anyhow, I didn't understand. In the our big challenge, here, let me move so, mine out of the way. So here is what <gasps> I did: the city skyline David. with the two little bridges on the side, and the steel building here, and uh, the PPG building, and then that's supposed to be the fountain down in the front. I'm not, um, <laughs> people are giggling. Did I screw up the fountain? Um, <laughs> well. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, All right. sure, I'm glad you explained what it was. <laughs> so family <laughs> show, it was the fountain, okay? It kind of looked like a thumbs up. <laughs> okay, thumbs up. Uh -huh. wow. It was the fountain, yeah. It was a lot of fun, though. We had we had a fun time doing this challenge. Thanks to the Incline for posting those stencils, yeah. and I think they're available on their website until November 1st if you want to check them out yourself. It's really a great idea. Okay.